you don't feel like it's a symptom. You feel like something really wrong and really fast and quickly in your mind and body because your mind is shut down. And my husband, I said to him, my right arm, it's totally unrespond for my body. I say, I am pretty sure I have a stroke. Brasil, esquentai vossos bandeiros, iluminai os cerreiros que nós queremos. I actually treated her. We uh, picked her up in front of a studio. She was performing with her husband, and she passed out, and her husband was smart enough to call us immediately. The Mobile Stroke Unit is a multidisciplinary, very innovative approach to treating uh, ischemic stroke at this time point where we dispatch an ambulance. The ambulance have every kind of assistant, like a hospital. We can CAT scan them right here in the ambulance, right in front of your house. And if we see that they're having a stroke, we have uh, all the medications that an ER would have. When I first saw Ileana, I was quite concerned given the severity of her symptoms. She had pretty significant motor deficits, particularly her right lower extremity, which was near paralysis. The portable scanner is able to detect whether or not the patient's symptoms at the time are due to bleeding within the brain. Somebody that has symptoms of an ischemic stroke usually will be able to receive a medication called TPA, which is a very strong clot busting medication, but this medication can only be given within a certain time period. When I came to the hospital, I already have my whole life history over there. So stroke is one of the most, if not the most, time-sensitive diseases that patients encounter, and any delay in treatment is essentially millions of neurons that are lost. Eliana was able to receive treatment within an hour of symptom onset. If we had not been able to treat her in the mobile stroke unit, she most likely would have had about 20 to 30 minutes of a delay in the actual administration of TPA. This could have caused a potential deterioration in her exam or would have led to worse long-term outcome for Eliana. This is really sad because if you're thinking about it, how many lives could be saved on time, I think otherwise maybe I'm going to be paralyzed for the rest of my life in the right side. Given the extensive treatment course and rehabilitation that Eliana received at New York Presbyterian Hospital, she has had dramatic improvements in her motor recovery, and I feel that the potential for complete recovery is in uh, Eliana's future. Oh my God, I'm so happy because I have my voice, I can communicate. I feel better if we have like a second chance. Okay.